In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a rectangular volume, this one right here, and sort of have it split as if it were branching out. Uh, so I've made a copy of one of these volumes, and this is the one that I'm going to modify. I'm going to first start off with um, tracing the profile of this, of this volume. So I will use the rectangle tool for this. Now this, this branching is going to basically uh, split down the middle. So I'm going to move that rectangle over, Let's zoom in a little closer here. Um, so the rectangle will be oriented toward with one edge at the, the middle of this end profile. And then I'm going to I'm going to rotate that rectangle. Rotate. Click on it. The center of rotation will be at the middle of the profile, and I'm going to rotate it uh, 35 degrees. Okay. Um, from there, I'll I'll do a simple extrusion. So extrude, and this is still a curve. Select the object, and we'll extrude this about 24 feet. Okay, now, um, the way that the branching is going to work, I need a particular alignment for, um, for the end of this. So I need to move this point here to this point right here. First, what I'll do is cap the object. Since it was an extrusion made from a curve, its ends are open. Okay, um, I have my object snaps on and I've just clicked on intersection. So now I'm going to move this bar from here to basically this point. Zoom out a little bit. Same here. Right, and then I'm going to mirror the form from one of the midpoints, straight line down. And last step will be to join them all into one object. So I've got these three separate bars, which are all closed polysurface, poly surfaces. And what I'm going to do is a Boolean union, and then select the three objects, and press enter. So now they read as one object. If I change my visual style to the rendered form, I should see that those joints are not visible. There are a few objects in here that can be deleted. Right, and that's it. 